Part four areas finding area using integration method. Um, we we have the function y equal x minus one to the power two. We have uh, we need the between this curve between the y axis and from uh, y axis and from y equal zero to y equal two to y equal two. When we draw y equal x minus one to the power two, it will be this one, right? y equal x minus 1 to the power 2, it will be this, this curve. Great. This curve, we need it from y equal 0 to y equal 2. So we have a horizontal line over here, right? We need between the curve, between the y-axis from 0 to 2, this means we need this area plus this area. We can fi find each part alone. We can find one part and multiply by two because as you can see it's symmetrical right i saw it's symmetrical maybe not maybe not right because this is this curve uh, yeah it may, it's not symmetrical it's not symmetrical at all so be careful over here we need to find each part alone all right as you can see this curve is uh concave this curve is convex this curve is concave right <clears throat> now the important thing over here, the important, the very important thing over here is when we change this to y equal x minus 1 square to the uh, uh, x in terms of y, we are going to get, right, x minus 1 without radical, it without squaring, it will be plus or minus radical y to the other side, then x equal plus or minus radical y minus 1, right? But we should choose only the negative radical y minus 1. Why is the, uh, it's not minus one? Minus one taken to the to the other side, it would be plus one. Why we should take only this one? X in terms of y because he needs it from y equals zero to y equal two and x the y axis, right? Why we have to take just this part because, as you can see on the figure, uh, it's it's from from this point, right? From one uh, on the abscissa axis uh, to up to this curve over here and then to this curve over here. This curve simply is 1 plus radical y but this curve over here it's 1 minus radical y so we just take this part because nothing to do with that part there's no enclosed area between it and between the y-axis from 0 to 2 we have just this part so both are enclosed using that part now what is the area the area is equal to <clears throat> the area is equal to integration from 0 to 2 of the absolute value of 1 minus radical y dy simply is we are going to take it parts right it's from 0 to 1 first from 0 to 1 uh, this part right this one this one is y equal 1 it's from 0 to 1 uh, of uh, 1 uh, minus radical y as it is we take it as it is as if we took the absolute value and we multiplied with plus why because this part of the curve is to the right of absolute of is, is to the right of the y axis means it's in the positive side from 0 to 1 while when we take from 1 to 2 we are going to see from 1 to 2 the curve is to the negative side of y axis to the left of y axis this means we are going to take this one minus radical y if we want to take the absolute value we have to multiply with minus so the answer is going to be minus one plus radical y dy simply this is it simply this is it so it's radical y minus minus one right dy now we do what now we uh, uh we just work right we just find the the area so uh, it will be uh, y right radical uh, integration of one dy it's y minus this is y power half so it's going to be two over three y power three over two y power uh, three over two right and uh, from zero to one plus uh, uh, minus one means it's minus y plus 2 over 3 y power 3 over 2 from 1 to 2 and then it's just calculations so y minus 2 over 3 uh, y cube right from 0 to 1 
plus it's minus y uh, plus 2 over 3 y to the power uh, radical y cube from 1 to 2 okay from 1 to 2 then the area is going to be 1 minus 2 over 3 right 1 minus 2 over 3 plus uh, minus 2 means minus 2 <coughs> 2 cube it's 8 it's 2 radical 2 times 2 4 uh, radical 2 over 3 right plus 4 radical 2 divided by 3 and uh, minus of minus 1 it's plus 1 and uh, minus 2 over 3 and we find the answer the answer is going to be minus 4 over 3 minus 4 over 3 uh, minus 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3 gives me minus 4 over 3 1 minus 2 plus 1 is 0 plus 4 radical 2 over 3 by calculator whatever this approximation equals to it will be the area and that's it for this activity see you next part